Some breaking news right now. The school district of Philadelphia announces another round of layoffs. More than 3,800 employees will be out of work come September if the district can't close a $304 million hole in the budget. Protesters have gathered in Center City hoping to get Governor Corbett's attention. Eyewitness News reporter Jerika Duncan joins us now outside the Republicans' office with that story. Jerika. Well, the protesters left Erica within the last half hour, but they were out here strong, loud, and proud. They chose this location, as you mentioned, because the governor has an office here at the Bellevue at Broad and Walnut Streets. Obviously, these people want to hear from the governor, but more importantly, they wanted the governor to hear their cries for help. These protesters have a message for Governor Corbin. I'm here today because the state needs to step up and provide funding for the schools. The city cannot do it alone. And the money that's in the budget right now is only sufficient for teachers and a principal. You cannot run a school without administrative support and counselors. Just after four Friday, hundreds rallied outside the governor's center city office. It was around the same time the Philadelphia School District announced another 76 layoffs. I'm fed up th with th them taking everything away from us, and it's not right. They're taking away sports, counselors, arts, music. 18-year-old Sharon Snyder, a junior at Benjamin Franklin High School, says she believes the state has the money to help the school district of Philadelphia. We do have enough money. They're just putting more into prisons than into education. We have the money. The school district has laid off close to 4,000 employees. It's facing a $304 million deficit and banking on the city, state, and teachers union to make up the difference. It's not just the district, it's also the kids. I hope they do get the funding that they need because they deserve it. This afternoon, the governor visited William Tennant High School in Warminster for a ceremonial signing of a special education bill. He quickly left the stage. A spokesperson with his office said he wasn't available for any questions from the media. And the district said these funding issues is nothing new when you think about the fact that the district, they say, has reduced staffing by 34 percent since 2011. The district putting out a release saying that today's layoffs, those 76 layoffs, underscores the need that for funding from the city and the state. Reporting live tonight from Center City, Jerika Duncan, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right.